day, guys. We're in Glen Alice doing a bit of bird watching behind their church. Let's see what we can find. We're so cool, bird nerds. set up camp and I think now we're going to go collect some firewood and just pray that it doesn't rain. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode. This big beautiful goanna. Not gonna lie, he scared the crap out of us. But he's just enjoying the sunshine. Hey guys, so we've made it down to what on Google Maps says is a lake. Not exactly a lake, but pretty nice deep section of the Carpatea River. And Monique's just enjoying the sun. So, pretty nice spot for a dip, I reckon, in a summer's day. Have a go at how vicious this plant looks. Like, I hope it's picking up the spines. <laughs> up there being a mountain goat as always. So that's the old shale mine at Glen Davis in the Cavity Valley. Pretty old. Glad it's not operational anymore. Oh yeah, someone's eating all the cheese popcorn. Guilty as charged. This magpie has been better value than TV. It has swooped everybody. Including me. Cooking some dinner. Mmm, yummy. How good is this? Pretty happy. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, look, it's Barney the dinosaur. So there's a fail. We were trying to make our way to Blackfellow's Hands, which is some Aboriginal artwork, but uh, I don't know if you can see it up there. The road is closed. So, fail. Wow. Alrighty, instead of the uh, Blackfellow's hands which was closed, we are going to try and tackle the uh, glowworm tunnel. So, first obstacle, a river crossing. Great cheers for it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, really cold. <laughs> Two seconds into the walk, shoes are already off. <laughs> okay, we're awake now. <laughs> so refreshing. That's where we're going zigzagging all the way up. So I've got my pack mule. She's carrying all my gear. I've only done it for about 10 years. It's about time the baby's returned. Beautiful spot. Upwards and onwards. Let's go. There's the Aldi tent. Amazing. <laughs> what a setup. Wonderful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we forgot a fry pan. We actually, we forgot a lot of things. 
So we're cooking cacio e pepe, our favorite pasta dish in our Trangia hiking stove. <laughs> It'll be really interesting to see how this turns out. It could be great. Maybe we'll cook it hiking. I don't know. How beautiful is this view? My God, it worked. Mm. It's good. It's fantastic. Yay. Jeez, you look relaxed. It's rough out here. So when you come to the carpeti, you can hear them. There's birds everywhere. And there's these little signs that Nick's looking at now that tell you where you can find all the birds. So we're at number 11. And there's like a little crossing here. So this, I'm pretty sure is a no through road. So not really going anywhere, but just nice to come and sit with the peaceful bird sounds. There's already a little fairy wren right there. Probably can't see it. Beautiful. And here's the river. Stopped at Fern Tree Gully, just taking the long way home. Let's check it out. Nick's got the all important spider stick. I don't think anyone's done this walk all day. So I don't know if you can see him down there waving that stick off in the air, <laughs> in the air so we don't get spider webs in our face. We've already gotten a couple, so yeah, the joys of bushwalking, hey? Oh, 
Oh, look, a koala. I think that these are G-bungs, which are a type of bush tiger. But, you know, I'm clearly not sure enough that I want to taste it. But they look kind of cool and stripy, you see? These on lots of different trees, but most of the time they're really hard and green. So it looks like they're probably ripening up a bit. I'm not sure. Anyway, let us know in the comments if you know what it is. Maybe we'll be game to try one next time. Oh my god, the goannas this trip. <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> They're gonna die young from this. Oh, can you see it? Hello. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Look at it climb. They're beautiful. There are heaps, heaps around here. Sorry, I feel like we scared him, he scared us. Yeah, how many times you see him, they still scare the bejeebus out of him. <laughs> oh my god. You go first. Alrighty. And on that note, I think it uh, that sort of wraps <laughs> up our two night stint in the Kapiti Valley at Kurungoa Campground. I think that's how you pronounce it, but. Uh, Epic spot, great, uh, great to finally get away after all this nonsense with lockdowns and whatnot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think between the boredom of COVID and the excitement of getting out of lockdown, um, we decided to start a YouTube channel. So if you've gotten this far in the video, amazing. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what we get up to next, you can hit subscribe. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next one. Catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.